Yo, boys, let's do this. Let's jump in. Uh, we're gonna be watching. I'm jealous of Warhammer. All right, uh, you should be. You should be. If you guys are interested in any kind of other, <laughs> if you're interested in any other kind of fictional world, Warhammer puts a lot of them to shame. Not a lot of them, all of them. This, this. I'm guessing this is what the video is about. Let's go. Let's just introduce the channel first. Uh, it's uh, by uh Reci Recivec? Recivec? I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's go. So, I'm jealous of Warhammer. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Okay. What's um, that to do with anything? Going somewhere with this. You're going somewhere? Okay. BioWare sci-fi epic is my favorite universe in all of fiction. Okay, so this is his favorite universe of all of fiction. I love the planets, the races, the guns, biotics, tech, sports, politics, history. I love all of it. All right. And yet, when it comes to having any video game experiences beyond its major releases, there's only ever been one option. More with Mass the Effect. Exception of Infiltrator on iOS. Okay. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer isn't remarkable in any capacity. Progression's obnoxious. Maps are samey. Gunplay. Honestly, I didn't even know that Mass Effect has a multiplayer. <laughs> I'll be honest, I never even heard of this, man. Since when does Mass Effect have a multiplayer, dudes? Plays average, objectives are annoying, enough to exploit. Only, we got to headbutt as Krogans, hop as Quarians, and even run around as corrupted Proth Protheans. Me... No longer were we solely bound to Commander Shepard. Okay. We finally got to play as everything together. Check out different factions, different races. And abilities that were never possible as Shepard. Okay. That's awesome. Could it be better? Sure. But especially... You played a match full of screaming kids? <laughs> so you got the authentic multiplayer experience, huh? When there's no other place to do these things, I can't help but embrace everything that Bioware's Montreal studio did exceedingly well. Nice. The weapon, character, and enemy variety. The yeah, sheer... I, I, really, I, I really respect people who are really into... You know, they're fan they really enjoy something and they just have fun with the it. The depth of its content and ramped up intensity compared to single player. It was finally a okay. new way to experience this universe in video games. I do love the original trilogy, but after six playthroughs over 10 years, I've seen it all. I've done every six interrupt, I've wow. completed every side mission, did I've it shot all. a dozen Thresher Maws, I read all the planet descriptions, I've played and completed Pinnacle Station. Here's what I'm currently reading. Okay. That's how desperate I am. So when I Complete type comics. Warhammer into Steam and there's 11 pages of games and down... <laughs> yeah, but most of those games are pretty bad, dude. <laughs> that's good, awesome games, man. Guys, check out my uh, Space Marine uh, video that I recently did on my YouTube, man. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. Notable content for said games. I'm overcome with furious envy. Hired gun. Do you know how much I'd want a seven-hour well. FPS of gunning down Turians in the first contact war, or gunning down humans as a Turian? Fuck it. Make it three hours for all I care. I'll binge it even if it sucks. Lord knows the massive community has done this before. Oh snap! The int mods, man. You, got, you I think the only the the thing that can save him is mods, man. Mod mod the game. Need more mods. Hyrity of the Mass Effect property, this endlessly expansive universe utilized for over 15 years, capable of telling thousands of stories by design, are four action RPGs, two mobile games, seven books, an omnibus, and a shitty animated movie. You got an animated movie? That's not bad, dude. And an omnibus? Okay. And like seven books? That's not bad. That's. But compared to Warhammer. Compared to compared to Warhammer, dude, that's like that's like one that's not, that's minuscule. Everything. Meanwhile, y'all got eight books about a single battle in one of the franchises. The Siege of Terror, man. Yeah, I've read them. Multiple universes. I'm a big, I'm a gigantic fan of Warhammer, dude. I've read them. And it's not just Mass Effect, but almost every property I had. I never thought about it like that. Yeah, that's one battle, the Siege of Terror. Yeah. The terror, seed of terror. Door, Black Lagoon, twenty-seven episodes. That's that, that's not seven. That it's not done yet. That that bell is not. I'm still I'm still keeping up with the books when they come up. I'm reading them one. Two spinoffs of the manga, two light novels, and a patchy slot game. 
Hotline Miami, a top-down shooter, and the same top-down shooter. Metro, three FPSs, three books. Titanfall, three games you can't officially play anymore, and a free-to-play spinoff more popular than all of them combined. There you along go. Along with a lore book that I'm also reading. Oh. Half-Life. I don't need to explain this one. At least there's mods. I have said that games... So there's no mods for uh, Mass Effect? ...should leave you wanting more, but that's hard gun. really put to the test when I see another franchise which, unlike all of these, keeps pumping out releases with all the variety that I want. I want Mass Effect, but XCON. This is the, this is the game I'm talking about, dude. I was, I was talking to Mr. Grimm. Yeah, it's XCOM, but it's, uh, it's Warhammer, man. Diablo, Total War, VR, Titanfall, Civilization, Galactic Empire, Starcraft, Left 4 Dead, Space Marines, and Left 4 Dead with Space Marines. Oh, yeah. And looking at Warhammer makes me sick. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's the game that we just played, man. Warhammer Space Marines. So good, man. This is a hidden gem, this game, man. Until yeah. I play something like Necromunda Hired Gun, and it's a lot better on paper than execution. Yeah, it's not that great. Don't get me wrong. It's not a bad game. There's lots of things to love. I imagine especially so if you're a 40k fan. But that jealousy of this not being a Mass Effect... Not many good mods for Mass Effect, no? Oh, that sucks, man. He seems like he's really into it, so I think that a lot of other people are too. The community, I guess. Black Lagoon or Titanfall game starts to fade when it doesn't nearly reach the quality of any of those things. The thing is with Mass Effect, it's all about the story. Right, it's like the big thing about it, I'm guessing. But he seems to be really into the combat and all that stuff, to be those people. Yeah, I guess it's, it's, it's huge on story, that's the thing. I was baffled how such a gorgeous game can be so poorly crafted until seeing the developers, which explained a lot. Playing this game- Yeah, this, yeah, Hired Gun has a lot of issues. We're not gonna get into that right now though. As somebody jealous of its status as an ambitious middle market bounty hunter movement based arena FPS with custom characters. But it's fun. It's, just, it's fun to play and uh, but you know, it just needs a little bit of polishing honestly. Weapons and pets. I dropped it halfway through feeling rather cold. Same. Like neither myself nor Warhammer fans are completely satisfied. Yep, same. These brands find themselves on two extremes. The former puts out a massive AAA action RPG once every two to five years via a mega publisher, and the latter releases middle market niche products every five to six months. Yeah, like uh, indie, double A, uh, single A games. Via an owner who will give the license to just about anybody. Basically anybody, yeah. Both have their benefits and annoyances. True. Of the fans I've spoken with, there seems to be a real frustration with each Warhammer game. True. Its quality is a coin toss. I said this in the beginning, man. A lot of them are like... Kind of shitty ass games, dude. Sometimes it's an utterly compelling and cohesive yeah, this game is awesome. like Fat Shark's wonderful Vermintide. Oh, yeah. And I even prefer to the Left 4 Dead games they're inspired by. Other times it's Fire Warrior. Ooh. Or Silver Tower. I didn't play that. Dark Nexus Arena. Didn't tear that either. Zone, or Storm of Vengeance. What? Or Eisenhorn. Or Eternal Crusade. There's an Eisenhorn game? <laughs> this is so many 40k games, man. Crusade. Or Dawn of War 3. Though, there's lots of solid ones like Inquisitor, Blood Bowl 2, Battlefleet Gothic 2, Mechanicus, and Space Marine. Yep. These are some good of the one, games man. often lauded. And this game is a, a hidden gem, guys. Space Marine, man. It's awesome. ...by Warhammer fans and the ones I'm most jealous of. It may seem silly to eyeball a bunch of games that aren't exactly wowing critics. Okay, that's But weird. I think if we're being honest, it's what most fans want. There's so much enthusiasm for games like Star Wars Bounty Hunter, 007 Nightfire, Transformers War for... Same, same thing with Star Wars. There's a lot of shitty games in, in Star Wars franchise Cybertron. as well. But I think they have a lot more good games than uh, 40k games. Uh, Mad Max, Space Marine, and Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. And you cannot convince me it's because better games didn't exist. It's because despite their shortcomings, they're gateways into a world for fanboys and newcomers. Somebody who doesn't like RTS games might love third-person shooters. There you go. And thanks to Space Marine, they too can enter the Warhammer 40k Smash universe em. and potentially fall in love with it. That is awesome. 
And yep. it's just as cool for somebody who's played hundreds of hours of Dawn of War or painted their own space marine. We're going to be playing Dawn of War soon, guys. Marines to finally control one and witness the scale of this world up close. Not to mention that many of the strengths in these games stem directly from their universes. Yeah. Sure, there's better co-op shooters, but do they have mass effect? It's it's nice to get lost in nice to get lost in the universe that you love, right? X sleek homage to 80s sci-fi aesthetic, or its large variety of distinct species to fight or fight alongside, or its abilities which justify lightning-based shotguns and biotic-infused hammers. Mm -hmm. These are the things you just don't have in Gears of War. Like how, for all of its gore, there is no chainsaw that can build combos and melee attacks, jetpacks turning you into a meteor or cockney god. He's not, he didn't even bring up the whole, like, the box, the lore, depth and 40k, the freaking miniatures, the, oh, so much stuff to love in 40k, dudes. To slaughter. In both cases, we got a new experience in a rich and beloved universe. Only Warhammer makes that the norm with lower budgets and more teams. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer is one of the only times this franchise got a more bespoke, compact experience. Something different, huh? And as much fun as it might have been, the reason it got made was pretty obvious. Yeah, microtransaction. As was Infiltrator. So the only times Mass Effect was allowed to deviate from its main formula was to fit a profitable trend. Meanwhile, there isn't Morning. top billing in real-time strategy, turn-based strategy, space strategy, M-rated football, VR slashers, melee-based first-person co-op games, Got or, let's face it, tabletop. Yet, oh. for all its failures, the Warhammer IP is going strong, continuously oh, yeah. increasing its popularity. Oh, Unlike, say, for instance, Mass Effect. Mass now Effect man died after Andromeda, dude. People like Bale, dude. Uh, what's the best space game with aliens? That's, I don't, that's such a broad question, man. Gotta find Dawn of War dated, I think. I have nostalgia on my side. Uh, maybe we'll find some mods for it. I think there's a billion million mod, bo mods. Maybe we can freshen it up or something. Uh, watch a few videos about it and uh, we'll see if we can get it to play a little bit more modernly. <laughs> Even though, man, you know I'm a big nerd for the K, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Just to, you know, be, might be fun. Also, I played... Uh, I played RTS games in the, in, the, in those days. I just didn't play uh, Dawn of War. So I do have nostalgia to uh, old school uh, RTS games like um, Warcraft and uh, CNC, uh, Command and Conquer and so on and so forth. You know, Age of Empires, all that good stuff. Now, that's not entirely an app comparison. Mass Effect doesn't have the mountains of revenue streams that Games Workshop has been steadily building up over four decades. Yeah. But that's kind of my point. Companies like EA repeatedly shoot themselves in the foot, pursuing the number one big budget video game, even in genres that are rarely mainstream enough to be the number one big budget video game. They want billion dollar franchises. They want the money, man. But only one way. Vermintide 2? Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. And they're making now Vermintide 2 in 40k instead of just uh, Warhammer, dudes. Gonna find some mods and refresh it up. I'll very be interested in those. Oh yeah. Oh, man. that's that's the hope. We'll mod, we'll mod it like crazy and, uh, you know, give it like a unique spin to it. Regardless of whether that method maps onto a company like Bioware or a franchise like Mass Effect. This is the beauty of releasing multiple mid-market games rather than placing all bets on one every two to five years. True. If you're lucky. That would suck. The thing is, the, 4K, the 40k universe is gigantic. Like, just like, you know, putting it in a small little box it's uncomprehensible like i can't comprehend it to just make one 40k game every like four or five years that would be crazy like the universe is so gigantic so much stuff happening in 40k that is it's just mind-boggling and when it fails fire everyone shelf the idea this is this is the this is the dream for me like because i'm i'm a big fan of fantasy books a big fan of like sci-fi all this stuff like a world to explore and lose yourself in like read the books, read the lore, uh, like you know, and all that stuff. I never, in my life, would have guessed when I started in 40k that it would be it would be continually satisfying my craving to more, bigger, more like not like in a way the the, the depth of it is so is so much depth to it that I, I'm always satiated. 
I, I, I can't keep up. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, Duck Tide should be out soon, I hope. Yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, man. Yeah, we'll be playing that for sure, day one, man. And wait even longer. All of that's avoided. And you've got gameplay catering to specific tastes and genres rather than the widest demographic possible. That is always supported by an entourage of longtime fans loyal to the universe. Oh man, I can't wait for Space Marine 2, dudes! First, rather than a specific game. And the consequence is this. Today, Bioware is putting all of their eggs in one basket again. again despite man. that very model being at least part of their most recent and biggest failures. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, Games Workshop Shindromeda. is now investing in its biggest projects yet without the pressure of their potential failure, threatening to shelve the franchise for years. There you go. It seems that after decades of success Diversify and failure, your bones. the brand is orchestrating a balance between these two extremes. And my jealousy rages on. His jealousy rages on. So Warhammer fans, I get oh, yeah, how playing much it, with it my ass? Yeah, man, let's like do it. God of War, Vermintide, and Mechanicus are the exception rather than the norm. This is the one I'm talking I about, uh, Grim. I hesitance to Mechanicus. get excited for the latest game with potential just to find out it's another Fire Warrior. It must be infuriating to see Games Workshop repeatedly sell their own creation out to people who obviously don't care about it. Yeah, that Your sucks favorite that part happens, of the Warhammer man. franchise might not be satisfied at the moment. Maybe not in 10 years. But you've still got Warhammer. You can still find something in the franchise that'll reignite that awe and inspiration yeah. again. There's still hours and hours and hours of content. Quality content. That's just video games, for man. you to sink your teeth into. With the constant potential oh, there you go. Talk for time. more. And as somebody who is constantly scraping the bottom of the barrel, waiting and pleading oh, for man. something, anything. Honestly, I, I, I feel bad for this guy, man. I feel bad for him. He's such a huge fan of Mass Effect, man. They're shitting all over their fans, dude. Anything. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> He's like, F -F, fuck that shit. Why are you doing this to me, man? Will you ever play Guardians of the Galaxy? I've heard it's the closest. Oh, dude. Oh, I played this, man. So good. Check it out. It's on YouTube, man. The playthrough. Oh, my God. This game is so good, man thing the mass effect you can currently get so definitely you should play this there for is sure. one game out there you think deserves it's, that that's that's too it's too bad it's a hidden gem guardians of the galaxy guys it's so good yeah not including uh yeah books and tabletop yeah that's what i'm saying 4k is so gigantic dude but guardians of the galaxy boys it's so good it's such a shame that nobody Old played high it gloss quality remake or remastering treatment what would it be alpha protocol's always been the go-to answer It'll never happen, but imagining a game Alpha as protocol? polished as future RPGs with that game's reactivity would easily put competition to shame. I've also never always wanted a VR remake of Steel Battalion VR. Heavy Armor. Oh. The game being an abomination mostly stemmed from being unplayable with Kinect. Not cool. the core game itself, yeah, I know of this with game. tons of great ideas that haven't been iterated upon since. Favorite multiplayer that was tacked on to a single player game. I think that one's been answered. Yeah, yeah. Verstappen or Leclerc? Verstappen's already won a title, so mostly hoping for Leclerc this year. Fantasy okay. or sci-fi? Sci-fi, no contest. On a surface level, I prefer guns. It, it, it's hard for me to say sci-fi or fantasy, man. Okay, gotta beat the kids back soon. All right, my dude, take care. Uh... The swords and cars to horses. In all seriousness, I think I prefer seeing a world where humanity has either earned or found technology with the potential to solve so many of our problems and failing, or the technology itself the grim introduces all new problems. Of the it's a topic future? that never ceases this to guy, This guy needs to get into 40k, man. relevant to the real world. Though I can respect in the real world, we don't have dragons. What is your favorite store on the Citadel? The one where Shepard can your say, fantasy? Hey! Everyone, this store discriminates against the poor. Uh, please calm down. <laughs> Would you against say that poor. living in Canada is equivalent <laughs> to living in Canada? No. All right, this guy's awesome, honestly. This guy is fantastic, boys. Go check him out for sure. I'll give him a subscription. I'll give him a like. What a good video, man. It's a good video, very entertaining.
let me uh put it over here guys go check him out give him a like uh, that'll be awesome <laughs> check him out subscribe to him it's a really good video man uh yeah man it's good stuff you got eight books a single battle from the universe don't forget plus 50 books the show stories audio dramas comics leading up to that battle yeah <laughs> just leading up to it <laughs> all right